Well, let's go live now to Greg Piper, <laughs> the, uh, the member for Lake Macquarie. Greg, you've worked pretty collaboratively, uh, collaboratively with the Coalition for several years. Looks like a change of government's going to happen. Not as ambitious on the gambling reform front, though. You'll be pushing them on that, I guess. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see how they go with um, uh, the uh, paradigm that they've uh, inherited. And uh, they've got uh, very strong... Um, voices coming from the uh, side who are saying that they want gambling reform. So I don't intend to change my position. So uh, we'll have a discussion and see if there's some way we can work through if this is how it needs to be. I mean, look, I, the assumption is here, and I'm saying we're talking about a uh, minority Labor government. Uh, Chris Minns has been open to discussions with the uh, members of the crossbench, certainly myself, uh, Alex Greenwich, Joe McGurr, and I expect that we'll do that. I've got no concern about that at all at this stage. Greg Piper, Andrew Clonell here. How are you? I, I just wanted to say that... Mate, that, I miss you. I miss you, Andrew. <laughs> I just wanted to say that not many politicians do. Look, I, I just wanted to say that uh, it looks like it could well be a Labor majority government, in fact. Are you disappointed at that prospect? Is it? That you, that you, oh, well, we can't call it yet, but so many seats appear to be Joel has. heading that direction. <laughs> Joel Fitzgibbon has. But uh, okay. <laughs> we, we'll wait for Tom He's Connell. But right. <laughs> so many, uh, I mean, would you be disappointed by that prospect because you had another opportunity at Real Kingmaker here? Oh, dear. Uh, look, uh, Andrew, it will be what it will be. Uh, what I will say is uh, Gladys uh, Berejiklian at the last 2019 uh, election came in with a uh, very slim uh, majority and uh, in my discussions with her, I, I did point out that she was unlikely to grow that over the four years. It uh, tends to work the other way. So uh, I think anybody uh, who's um, setting up a, a, a government would, should be mindful about what, what could happen over a term and be mindful uh, to, uh, to work with everybody if they can. So, uh, look, if they've got a majority, I imagine it's going to be a slim majority, but uh, I'm sure Chris would be uh, open to talking to us anyway, Andrew. Greg Piper, you've, had a, you've been there 16 years and strong support continues tonight... What, what do you put it down to with independence? Once, once an independent gets a hold of a seat, it's very hard to dislodge, like yourself. <laughs> well, yeah, OK. Well, can I, can I just say, I, I think if you're uh, uh, elected uh, as an independent and you get re-elected, well, you, you're obviously doing something good. I, think, I mean, people um, throw their hand up and say they're going to be an independent. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be a successful politician. But I've got a good team around me. I've, I think I'm pretty grounded, uh, if I could be so bold as to say that. Um, I've, I knew this community very well, and I knew it well from the time I was a councillor and, of course, mayor of Lake Macquarie. So I, I think I had built a, a pretty good reputation. I, I think I try and uh, work hard and, and deliver. You can't deliver everything, but uh, I think most people have learnt that I really give it a go, and I've got a great team, as I say. Greg Piper, thanks. Congrats on another win there in Lake Macquarie. Let's